What's going on guys? So I just bought myself a brand new PlayStation camera. Uh, this is the latest version. This is the updated version that is compatible with PlayStation VR. So I needed to release a new edition of the camera for VR. So uh, in this video, I'm just gonna be sort of like showing off what it does and uh, I guess how it looks. So at the start of the video, I showed you how it um, does facial recognition. So next time I log into my uh, PlayStation, well next time I turn on my PlayStation, instead of clicking any buttons, apparently I can just look straight into the camera and it will recognize me and log me into my profile. So I think that is a freaking awesome, awesome thing. Uh, so what we'll do is we will just sort of have a look from scratch what we can do with this camera. So apparently, uh, as you can see on the screen right now, We've got my PlayStation main menu, and apparently I can just talk. I can just talk, say what I want to do, and uh, the PlayStation will do it. So let's let's have a look. So apparently I just say the name PlayStation. All commands. Okay, so now I've got a list of different commands. Let's go start messages. Home screen. Outlast. Start. Boom, just like that guys, that is freaking awesome. That is really, really cool. So it is, it's slightly like the uh, Xbox 360's Connect, but of course a little bit upgraded. Uh, so this camera is freaking awesome dude. It is literally so much smaller than I thought it originally was. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to show you guys the uh, broadcasting side of things. So my face cam on top of the gameplay and then sort of broadcasting it. Before we get into this, I just want to say the main reason I got a PlayStation camera was for live streaming. Now, I can live stream through my computer. I've got a pretty decent computer, but the problem I have is I'm running the PlayStation through the Elgato through my computer. And when I'm streaming, the Elgato's got a slight delay so that when I'm talking, there's a slight audio delay. And at this present time, uh, I don't know how to fix it. I haven't seen any uh, any tutorials on YouTube about it because I'm using the latest OBS software and I don't know how to fix that. Now, the PlayStation with the PlayStation camera is fully, fully in sync. And to top it off, they have released an update, so now not only can we broadcast in 720p, but we can broadcast in 60 frames per second, which is which is freaking pretty cool, man. Now the other awesome thing about the PlayStation cameras, the webcam I'm using right now is a 720p HD webcam, right? So is the PlayStation camera, but instead of it being 1280 by 720. The PlayStation camera is actually 1280 by 800. So it is slightly better than your standard 720p webcam. And on top of that, the PlayStation camera actually records in 60 frames. So you're getting a 720p resolution and it's 60 frames per second. Now, for $100, I've got to say, I'm pretty happy with it, but I'm going to shut up now and I'm going to show you guys the broadcasting part of this video. So, let's, uh, let's go back to the home screen. PlayStation. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Start. Okay. That is really, really cool. I, I really think that is pretty freaking awesome, man. Okay, so once you're in a game, the commands do not work at all. You have to press the home button and then you can do your commands. But that really isn't a problem at all because you want to play the game realistically anyway. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Then what we're going to do is we're going to click on Zombies. 
because zombies is freaking awesome. Uh, we're going to get a login bonus. Sounds good to me. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go solo match and we're just going to start the game. We're just going to jump straight into the game. Okay, just let it load up for a second. Alright, so now that we're playing, you want to go start, and now you want to simply hold down the share button. Okay, now you want to go to broadcast gameplay. Now you want to pick what you want to broadcast on. So, in my case, I'm going to be broadcasting on YouTube. Okay, so now you can add all your information about what you are broadcasting. Uh, you can set it to the highest quality, which is 720p, 60 frames per second. Now that you have your PlayStation camera, you can add it to your broadcast. What you want to do is simply press start as you're hovered over the box with your tip. Now it's going to come up with the advanced settings. Go down to camera, video settings, and now you can position your camera. As you can see, on the right hand side we can go full screen there's me talking but we'll go back out of that so position you can have it on the upper left you can have it on the upper right you can have it on the lower left or you can have it on the lower right put it back to the upper left now the size we can have small which is extremely small i suppose it's not too small but it's a little bit too small for me anyway so um i generally don't want to use that we can have wide, which just makes it wide, which looks pretty cool. We can have medium, which is the one I like to use. It's more of a narrow sort of box, so I, I like that one. Or we can have large, which in my opinion is slightly too big. So now that we have set up our size, we want to go down to background. Now you can do circular cutout, which looks kind of cool in a way, I guess. So what I'm going to do is, I haven't tried this yet, I'm going to go up here and I'm going to make it large. So now our circular cutout is a lot larger except we don't have the big square on the screen. So in a sense it's kind of like having a green screen except um, you've still got a slight background. But yeah, I think that looks pretty cool man, I've got to say, I think that looks pretty, pretty cool. Uh, you can go auto cutout. So this is sort of more like um, green screen. I actually had no idea about this one. I didn't try this one last night and it just follows your face. I like that one. That one's good. I like that one. And last but not least, we can have chroma key. So for those of you who don't know what chroma key is, it is for green screens. So I do have a green screen over there, but um, I'm going to need to move it from there to behind me. But if I was to do that, I could have my green screen behind me, I could set up a few lights in front of me, and I could get rid of all of this, and just have my body floating on the screen. I don't know if the original PlayStation camera did this, I don't know, but it, it's a, it is cool. I like green screen. So, so now I'm going to do this auto cut out, because I thought that looked pretty good. We can go depth, so you can remove more, oh really, okay. So you can make yourself more transparent, or you can just get rid of the whole effect altogether, or not completely. And then we've got edges. So again, we're sort of getting rid of the whole effect. If I drop the edges, and then I go back up to depth, you can just about chroma key it yourself. So as you can see, this is quite a decent quality camera. Okay, so now that we've done all of the background stuff, we can go down to effects. You don't really want to muck around with it. They're not very good. So this is Comet. Looks like crap. This one's Pixelate. Looks even more like crap. This one's Scan Lines. I guess it looks right, but still pretty crap. And then this one is Toy Camera, which is... Don't know why you want any of them. I just want to keep that on none. Now we can muck around with the brightness, the contrast, and the transparency. So the brightness and contrast explain themselves. The transparency is a little bit different. So we'll go back into where we were on the full screen and we can move our transparency so that I am basically a ghost. You can still see me, but you're gonna see the game more. So that's pretty cool, man. That's pretty cool. Okay, so now that we've done all of our settings, we can just simply go back uh, audio sharing settings, I'll quickly tell you about this. Uh, you can use the camera as your microphone. 
if you don't have a decent headset like me. And to be honest with you guys, the microphone on this thing is pretty freaking good. It is surprisingly good. If you are going to use your headset or you're going to use the camera, I would say use the camera if you don't have a really high quality headset that is. So everything looks pretty good. Click include microphone, audio and broadcast, simple as that. Now we can go back, uh, or we can go back, and then we are all set up for the stream. We've got include video from PlayStation Camera and Broadcast, include microphone audio and broadcast. So now we'll go start broadcast. So what you guys are seeing right now is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing my face on the screen as I play, which is pretty pretty cool I guess, really um, put you off as such, and as you can see to the right there, it's telling me that the audio has been picked up. So it's pretty cool, I've, I've got to say I really enjoy the, uh, the PlayStation camera so far, I think it's a great product from Sony, and the stream quality is pretty good, it, it's pretty freaking good man, I cannot complain at all. So I thought I'd just make this video to, uh, to showcase the brand new, well I don't know how new it is, I'm assuming it's, it's pretty new anyway, uh, the brand new PS4 camera and uh, show you guys how to use it for streaming and also how to use it for commands on PlayStation 4. So anyway guys, if you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to drop a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I guess I'll be seeing you in the next. Peace. Bye, you son of a bitch.